Now we're going to review the steps on how to treat uh, Barclan cysts and Barclan cyst abscesses using a rotor catheter. First, you prep the area using iodine um, to sterilize your, your site. And you're just going to clean the area where you're going to make the incision and we'll use multiple iodine swabs to sanitize as much of the area as possible. Then you will um, apply local anesthesia and, and typically we use 1% lidocaine, uh, preferably with epinephrine. Um, and we are using a 30 gauge needle that's one and a half inches long. We are going to be making the incision adjacent to the hymenal ring, so that's where I'm going to uh, apply the anesthesia. Okay. Now I'm going to make an incision right where I applied the anesthesia and using a number 11 blade. The incision is going to be five millimeters to one centimeter long. And this is different from an incision drainage, which We'll typically uh, will need an, an incision of one to two centimeters. You don't want the incision to be too big, otherwise the work catheter will just fall out. And so before you take out the scalpel, you want to use your pickups. Typically we'll use some uh, tooth pickups and you want to grasp the skin and the cyst wall before you take out the, the blade. And we can express some of the contents of this um, cyst or abscess. But you don't want to express all of it completely, otherwise you may lose the um, placement for um, your um, work catheter. So the work, this is the, how work catheter looks. At the end there is a balloon so you want to just insert this into your incision site and it, it should fit into the um, cyst wall. Okay and then once it's in place then you will use, you're going to inject into the catheter about three milliliters of normal saline. This is using a 22 gauge, one, one and a half inch uh, needle. So the trick is that you want to place the needle directly into the middle of the catheter. Otherwise you may end up puncturing through the catheter and the catheter will not be useful. Okay, so my needle is in the middle of the catheter and I'm going to inject the saline to blow up the balloon. Okay, and now the catheter is in place, it's blown up and it has created another tract for the um, for the cyst to drain. You will then tuck the catheter into the vagina and you, it usually sits there for four weeks or it can fall out earlier.